Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 032 underscore DIADM where you see. You can also download this file on the website or use your own file to follow along. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as icon. This brings the save drawing as dialog box. We name this file to 00 underscore 033 underscore DIABM and click the save button. In this tutorial, we're going to learn different methods of modeling our 3D model. Go to the home tab, modeling panel, and click the down arrow, select the box command. Zoom in into this area. At the specify first corner prompt, use the endpoint object snap and snap into this vertex. At specify other corner prompt, Move the mouse cursor and snap to this vertex. Now move the mouse cursor up and type 1000 millimeter. Press enter. The advantage of the box command, any height that you use, AutoCAD remember that height in a drawing season. Now, if I click enter to repeat the box command again, at the specify first corner prompt, go and click at this vertex. At specify other corner prompt, click on this vertex. Now just press enter. AutoCAD remember the previous height that you specified. Let's continue to draw in this manner until we draw the window seal of the our 3D model. Press enter to repeat the box command again. At specify first point prompt, click on this vertex. Because the, this wall is not in odoconal angle, the box command at default always draw in odoconal angle. That means the box the edge of the box parallel to the x and y plan for the base so to remedy this problem type n on your keyboard and press enter to select the length option now hold your middle mouse button and hold the shift key and your middle mouse button snap to the this end point now autocad ask you to specify the width snap to this end point then press enter Autocad still remember the previous height that you specified for the box command. Press enter to repeat the box command. Start from this corner and specify other corner of cube length prompt. Type L on your keyboard and press enter. Move the mouse cursor and click on this vertex. At specify width prompt, move the mouse cursor and select this vertex. Press enter. Autocad still remember the previous width. Continue to draw in this manner until you complete this window. Type L on your keyboard. Now we have different height on this area before this area is a uh, toilet. So select the press enter to repeat the box command. As place by first corner prompt, click on this endpoint. Now move the mouse cursor to this other corner. Type 1500. Press enter. The box goes to the wrong direction. Select the box and hit delete on your keyboard. Select the box command again. Click on this vertex and this vertex, move the mouse cursor up and type 1500, press enter. 
Now zoom in into this area. Go to the 3D tools tab, modeling panel, and select the box command. Click on this vertex. Move the mouse cursor and click on this vertex. Now move the mouse down and type. Type 800. 800 millimeter. Press enter. Press enter to repeat the box command. Click on this vertex and this vertex. Press enter. Press enter. Continue to draw the until the lint sets are finished. Go to the home tab, preview panel, and start the box command again. Let's continue to draw this time around in the non orthogonal walls. Click in this area, type L on your keyboard and press enter. Press enter. Continue to draw in this manner until you complete the link. Type L, press enter. Type F, press enter, snap into this vertex, move and snap to this width, press enter. Type L, press enter, click on this vertex and this vertex. The reason why I, I always press enter because you can still remember the box height until I change it. If you look at the commander, you see minus each one here. You can enter this figure once, then the next one, only you need to do just press enter. It will still remember until you want to change the figure. Type L on your keyboard. Click on this vertex. At specify width, click on this vertex, press enter. Go to the status bar and click the grid button to turn the grid off. Normally in real world, the kitchen window has a different seal height from the other windows. So to increase the height of this window, go to the 3D tools tab, solidate this panel and select the press pull command. Zoom in into this area, move up and type 200 millimeter, press enter. Pull this face up and type 200 millimeter press enter let's escape to get out of the press pull command now all the solid that you draw in this tutorial are separate solids so we need to unite them to do that go to the 3d tool star solid edit panel and select the union command use a window selection to select this solid and press enter AutoCAD unite this solid into one object go to the 3d tool star solid edit panel and select the union command again select this solid this 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 solid this solid 
be solid be solid press enter press enter to repeat the command so let's be solid be solid be solid and click enter to unite them go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button go to the view control click the custom view and select the se isometry click the save button once more all right we're going to stop this tutorial at this point we'll continue in the next video if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friends if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye